Última vez y enséñame ese pasito que no sé. Un besito bien suavecito, bebé. Taqui, 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 rumba. what is poppin today i'm going to be filming with the morphe x james charles palette and today not only is this a tutorial but i'm also going to be testing out using this eyeshadow palette with a glitter glue slash primer base versus a concealer base now i did not film myself doing eyeshadow on my eye on top of the concealer base just because i think this video would be a million years long but i did film myself doing it on a glitter glue slash primer and the reason why i decided to test out using this palette on a glitter glue slash primer is because a nobody has done it on youtube yet and i was very curious about it because james charles said in his video that some of these eyeshadows are pressed pigments and with pressed pigments you have to use them a little differently than your traditional eyeshadow and instead of blending it out you have to pack it on and then go ahead and blend it out but he also said that i should use well everybody should use a eyeshadow primer instead of a concealer and he said the reason why was because eyeshadow primers are stickier than your concealers and these pigments need something to adhere to and stick onto. So I decided what's, you know, stickier than a eyeshadow primer that would be better with the eyeshadows. And then I thought of glitter glue slash primer because he said that they needed something really sticky and glitter glues are very, very sticky. So I'm using the NYX glitter glue slash primer and that's what I'm doing on my eyes today. And... I'm going to give you guys a second to guess which eye is the one with concealer and which eye is the one with the glitter glue slash primer. Okay, now that you guys have your guesses, this eye is the eye that I used the glitter glue slash primer with and this eye is the eye that I used concealer with. Even if you don't see the difference on camera, I'm telling you in person, there's a huge difference but you're going to have to wait until the end of the video to see the difference that I found and maybe a life-changing hack if you have this palette. Okay, and I also want to thank Crystal Diane Marie for, you know, giving me this palette because... I want a giveaway of hers and if it wasn't for her I wouldn't have this palette in my hands right now to do this video for you guys and I will link her channel below she's amazing she looks like Lustre Luxe Katie and she's really really pretty and her videos are amazing so definitely go check her out her link will be down in the description and I'm also going to be doing a like recreation of this look that James Charles did I don't think he uploaded the video on his channel yet of this look but uh, I'm gonna put a picture like right here showing you guys the look that I tried to recreate and I did do something a little different with my own twist but I overall I love how it turned out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into the video. So starting off, I'm taking my Real Techniques Multitask Eye Brush and dipping into the shade Tune and putting that into my crease and just using this kind of to set the crease and kind of set the tone of the crease by making it a bit yellowy because I do want the crease to be a bit more yellow and bright so I'm adding more to really make that show up and have like a little nice pale yellowness just before we go and add our more brighter and deep I guess and intense colors so next shade I'm going to be dipping into is with my Morphe R36 and that shade is 518 just putting that all over the crease kind of just brushing it over it doesn't have to be too intense and then taking my multitask eye brush from Real Techniques and just going it over with the shade tune just to make sure that it's all blended then I'm taking my Morphe R36 brush once again and using code James in my crease to deepen that up and I'm trying to really deepen that up and make sure that you can see that color and then I'm taking the shade 10% off and packing that into my crease and blending that out as I pack it on like James said to do and also taking a bit of the shades no beans and putting that into my crease then going back with my Real Techniques multitask eye brush with the shade 518 and just blending that all out and I think I actually went into the shade tune once again and blended that all out again just to make sure that there's no harsh lines and everything is nice and smooth and blended to perfection. Then I'm going to be taking my Mommy Makeup Flat Shader Brush and using this as a brush to cut my crease and I, I'm terrible at cutting my crease on camera so I tried to cut it but I didn't really, it didn't really work out so I went off camera and then came back with my um, cut crease and then I took my Morphe M421 brush and took the shade canvas and kind of packed that on top which I regretted later and then with my R36 again with the shade no beans just smoothing over the edges of the 
cut crease. Then taking my, M my M506 brush in the shade You're Kidding and packing that over. And now is when you guys are going to realize why I kind of regretted putting on that canvas shade. Also, when I cut the my crease, I also put some glitter glue before setting it with the canvas shade. And then taking the shade 518 and putting that in between the shade You're Kidding and my beginner half of the cut crease and then I decided that I wanted to make this stuff brighter so I took more glitter glue put it on top of the shade you're kidding that I already had on my crease to make it intense and you guys can definitely tell in this part that once you take that shade you're kidding on top of the glitter glue it pops out so much more makes it so much brighter than when you were just using a concealer because or or like setting it with the canvas shade like it literally popped out like no tomorrow and made it look so much better and then I did the same thing with the shade 518 and just blended those two together and you guys could tell like it's proof right here using glitter glue because it makes it so much more poppy and then I took the shade B and packed that on the inner rim kind of close to my inner corner but not too close just between the inner corner and the shade of 518 and further blended that and as you guys could see after the glitter glue it made it so bright it was so crazy then I'm taking my M521 brush and kind of making that cut line liner type of crease for me to put the glitter liner on top so we have that like negative space slash like double cut crease type of liner look I don't really know how to describe it but yeah and I tried doing this also as best as I could on camera and I was trying to perfect it as much as I could and winging that out just so that it could be our like space glitter type of eyeliner and then I went from my lash line and connected that to the top of the wing and guys this whole video is literally just telling you use a glitter glue because I could not recommend it even more. It made the shadows look so beautiful. Then I'm taking my Stilla Liquid Glitter and Glow Glitter in the shade Kitten Karma. And that's what I'm going to be using to go over the concealer. Also, before using the glitter liner, I went with concealer because I feel like it makes the glitter pop a lot more rather than just going in with the glitter straight and not using concealer. It also makes it look a lot cleaner. So I do recommend that a lot. And I went off camera and did the rest of the glitter because like I said, I suck doing things on camera. And then I went with the shade uh tune i went with the shade tune i'm actually looking at the palette right now as i'm telling you the shades because the shades don't have any shade names on it i mean the palette doesn't have any shade names on it but then i just blended out the edges so that it is nice and seamless and i also packed on a bit of the shade 518 and then i took a makeup remover wipe and just cleaned it under my fallout which there was not very much fallout and i also cleaned out the wing to make it that perfect like whoosh, snatch shape of the eye which it definitely did and i loved how that turned out and i also came back with some concealer now i'm taking my e36 brush and using the shade ring light as my inner corner highlight i tried to copy james and recreate his look but then i ended up taking my own twist and i wanted to play a bit more with the red and the orange and the yellow so instead of using the browns i went with those shades now i'm taking my m506 brush once again and using the shade code james and just blending that under my lower lash line and kind of just setting a bit of the lower lash line before we go with a bit more darker colors and then taking the shade 10% off and putting that all over my lower lash line but a bit closer to my lower lash line and then I'm taking the shade no beans and I'm connecting the edges and just putting that on the edge of my lower lash line to connect it with the top of the shade no beans and then I'm taking the shade you're kidding and kind of matching it to what we did on the lid and packing that right under the shade you're kidding which was on the lid and taking more and making it a bit more brighter and then taking the shade 518 and putting it right under the shade 518 which was on our lid and then taking the shade B and you know repeating it it's all a story a smooth story that all goes together because you want it to look perfect and then I came back with some shades these are my kiss lashes all right guys so I went ahead and after I did my glitter glue slash primer side I did the eyeshadow on my uh, concealer side I did it right after doing the glitter glue side and there is a very very big difference I don't know if you guys could tell on camera but there is a major difference so my idea was in the beginning or my concept of doing this video was will a glitter glue slash primer perform good with this shadow and I wanted to find like a hack to work with this shadow because the fact that James said that he needed 
he made the shadow so that it could stick on a sticky base because they are pressed pigments and that's how they worked best. So I did notice a big difference. On the glitter glue side, the shadows blended way better. They showed up way more vibrant with less effort and they blended more like your traditional shadows. Like I couldn't even tell that they were pressed pigments because the glitter glue and the shadows stuck together so perfectly and as you guys saw in the video when I kept adding more glitter glue and more shadow it just getting kept getting brighter and brighter and brighter. So there definitely is a big hack to this palette. If you guys have this palette and you guys don't know how to work with it or you guys are using a concealer and don't see it doing well or even an eye primer I highly highly recommend using a glitter glue like it is a major lifesaver when using this palette I do believe that is that you could get the best results of this palette with using a glitter glue slash primer base because as you see the colors are so vibrant whereas over here it was a lot harder to blend out you could definitely tell you were working with pressed pigments that are a lot harder to work with and not only that, but there is some patchiness inside. I don't know if you guys could see on the yellow on camera, but there is some patchiness. And when I kept trying to build on top, it would take away more than build on top of the actual color and get more intense. And it was a lot harder to blend, whereas this blended out more like a matte eyeshadow and really stuck on and sealed the color inside. So my conclusion is use this palette with a glitter glue slash primer base even over an eyeshadow primer base because a glitter glue primer base is stickier and like James said the shadows perform best when it is with something very very sticky under it. And that is my conclusion of this video. Use a glitter primer and I'm really happy that I discovered this hack to use this palette and with anybody else who has this palette, if you know anyone, please share this hack with them because I guarantee you it's gonna make their lives a lot easier to use this palette and a lot more fun, to be honest. Okay, so yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really worked hard on this and I'm gonna try to get this up tonight. So if you guys see this up on Sunday night, then that means I literally was filming this like a couple hours before. And yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys loved everything and got, I guess, some tips on using this palette. And that's it for this video. I hope to see you guys soon in my next video. Love you. Bye!